Hey guys, uh, my name is Matt Shane. I'm an independent recording engineer, producer, mixer based here in New York City. The trick or cool thing I'm going to show you today is not any sort of super high-tech wizardry. It's just something fun that I like to do. And it works well for stuff that I've recorded at home or that bands have brought me that they've recorded at home. And it relates to drums. I'm going to lay a guitar amp on the floor and I'm going to put a snare drum on it upside down, like sitting on the guitar amp. Then I'm going to close mic the bottom of the snare drum, which will be facing up and I'm gonna put an ambient room mic up a few feet just to hear what that sounds like. We send the snare out and record it to a new track and then I have the two mics and we can get, with the really gated snare sending to it, we can get a really trashy, raucous sounding snare. So, I just grabbed a guitar amp. I'm just gonna lay it down on the ground. I'll take a snare drum. Make sure the snare drum sounds good when you hit it. Uh, try the high input, turn this puppy on. Should be good to go. Well, generally, if I'm going to close mic it, it's going to be with a uh, dynamic mic. So here I've got my trusty RE20. Put it right over the snares. It's fun to throw up another, maybe more, more ambient signal source. So I'll use a ribbon in this case, which is uh, going to be darker and not as much um, high end and a little warmer and stuff like that. So, so I'll probably just go a few feet up so it's out of the way, because ribbons generally can't handle as much sound pressure levels as dynamics. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool, let's go in the control room. So we set up the amp and the snare drum and the mics, patched everything in, we've come back into the control room and we patched it all up through two mic pre's. So I have my close mic and my far mic coming up here. This fader over here is my send out to the reamp box. And then if I, uh, solo up my snare sin. So this is the whole snare track that we're listening to. If I gate it, I just get the hit that I need. There's a lot of like low mids and not a lot of like rattle and stuff. It has a good amount of attack, but there's not a lot, a lot of energy and sort of um, trash on it. I'll play the snare back, solo it, and if I bring these up, it sounds like somebody's out there hitting a snare drum. I'll raise it up quite a bit just so we can hear it separate, but that sounds like this. So that's our reamp. That's the ribbon mic that's up higher. It's a little darker and meatier. And then a lot of snare rattle and sort of bottom, added bottom snare sound. If you blend that in and you take it out, you can, you can see when you take it out that it loses a little bit of energy in life. So it's just a good trick for uh, amping up drums that are you know need a little bit of extra life or attitude. You can have fun with it, and uh, yeah, that's it.